I've been in Newfoundland um, for the past two weeks. I did a cross provincial tour uh, visiting different ACC centers um, in Gander, Deer Lake, uh, Corner Brook, Grand Falls, and St. John's. And I spent the past week in St. John's where we got to visit a lot of different uh, community organizations, visiting schools. Uh, we ended up visiting three schools. We did a panel discussion at the university. Um, now we're currently at Easter Seals. We're finishing off the tour at Easter Seals. Coming here to this province was never necessarily on my radar. I don't think I would have ever come to this province realistically, like, I wasn't invited to come. It initially started with me about two years ago when I attended a conference and I met Luca there. He was keynote speaker and, and performed at the conference and I just thought he was an incredible inspiration and really wanted him to uh, come to St. John's to be able to meet some of our children and our families and share his, his wonderful inspirational message. So when I came back uh, from the conference, I um, I talked with some, some people who um, you know, I knew from the disability community and we started a committee. Uh, so the coalition was approached by staff from the Janeway and I think Robin knows where they and I believe Mox as well were the, the two folks who kind of approached us directly about getting involved trying to bring Luke into the province, uh, help him share his message and all that. And a few meetings in we decided, you know what? We should connect Neighborhood Dance Works into this because this is this could be big, this could be huge, and it'd be great to have a partner within you know the dance community as part of the initiative. So Emily Christie from the Coalition introduced me to a committee of healthcare workers and disability advocates who were working or interested in. in exploring the idea of bringing Luca Lazy like Patwelli here. And when I found that out, I was like, I want to bring him here too. I, I saw him somewhere at a conference and I remember approaching him. This was probably about three years ago. And he took on a whole new life when Cali got involved because we were able to bring the arts community together with the disability community. So we've been meeting them for the last, well, it's about a year and a half, I guess. Uh, it's been an incredible project, uh, being involved with different organizations, collaborating with that same wonderful goal uh, of, of bringing Luca to, to Newfoundland and, and spreading his inspirational message uh, was, was wonderful. My whole life, I've always adapted myself. I've always found ways to do things my own way. And about six years ago, I was watching my friends do some moves, and I said, you know what? I think I can do a handstand my way. I'd like to show you guys my version of my handstand. I got to host a lot of the events that uh, Luca did in uh, St. John's. It was a great experience being able to introduce this artist who was so, uh, so accomplished and uh, beyond that, just a, a great entertainer. As an artist, I think with my programs, what I want to be able to uh, convey through the performances is this idea that anything is possible as long as we learn to do things our own way. I think the greatest thing about 
the ability to bring Luca to Newfoundland and, and working together to make that happen with all the key partners was it gave everybody an opportunity to see diversity on stage. We don't always have that opportunity here in Newfoundland. It's really important to see people from different walks of life and from different abilities before because it's not only entertaining and inspirational, it's also a catalyst for other people to get involved and to experience that, yes, it, it can be done. Yes. I've attended several of his performances and everyone that I've gone to has been so well received. I mean, the, the, uh, the, the people who've attended seem to just really enjoy his performance, but also even, I think, more than that, we are really hearing the message that he's delivering, that, uh, you know, that there are no excuses and there's no limits. <laughs> I think it's tremendous that he had such a broad um, itinerary when he came to the province and into the city to go to so many places and talk to so many people. Because it's a message that everybody needs to hear. Uh, I mean, certainly, obviously, a message for persons with disabilities to be able to, you know, have a um, role model to see that you can live your truth and go after your dreams. I enjoyed today a lot, you know, it's really special to have Luca here and he's so inspiring and you just leave with more of positive energy. It was it was life changing to actually see it happen and, and know that there are, you know the possibilities are endless. Kids need to see that. Parents need to see that. I attended Luca's performance at Easter Seals House with my son Brennan and it was fantastic. We were so thrilled to be there. It was so nice to see the disability community and the arts community come together. The best thing was that um, everybody got a chance to participate. Um, I know when my son was born, 13 years ago, I didn't think we'd ever be part of a dance workshop. And this was really um, incredible for my family to be able to be involved with something like this. It's, it's been incredible. I mean, I've been working for a really long time, and this is one of the best projects I've ever been involved with. And I think because of the collaborative nature of it, um, that we've all you know come together with, as I said before, a common goal and work very hard. And we all bring different skills and, and connections and interests to it, but you know, together, we, we've been able to make this happen. We're still kind of coming down from the excitement of seeing that collaboration in action and seeing the community's reaction to having Luca traveling across the province and being able to wrap around this great performer to be able to say, look at this, look what's possible and look what we can do more of in our community. We have to reach out to people who are on the margins because oftentimes there are the people who have the strongest message to convey and they're often the people who have not had the platform to convey those messages. I share this story with you because it's something that affected me for a good year in my life. And it was a moment that was extremely difficult. But when I reminded myself that I could adapt myself and that I could do things my way, then I reminded myself that there really are no limits to what we can accomplish. It was great to see such a diverse performer with um, such a focus on accessibility for audience members and artists. Uh, and I think it's something that could inspire other artists in Newfoundland. Uh, it's very important to have these partnerships. There's been many hands uh, supporting and that has been very meaningful and the funders who came on board to support were really instrumental in helping to realize the project. Funding is really key because, um, again, when we're talking about artists with disabilities or if we're talking about Indigenous artists or if we're talking about artists who represent other cultural perspectives who've been, um, you know, have not had uh, equal access to funding, it's really important because we need to level that playing field of walking around with a deep sense of pride for the the whole committee and community and for Luca that he can walk away and talk about this for him like what what has this added to his career so this is the first time anybody's ever organized a tour for him that was really meaningful to make that happen I think that in Canada we're we have so much talent and because we're such a large country it's so hard to discover that talent so for us to be able to come together 
more often and just encourage each other. I think that's something that's beautiful. And so thanks to festivals like these to be able to bring that, uh, make it into a reality. This is just the beginning, uh, you know, of this, well, we've got this wonderful partnership in place now, and, and I, I would hope that we will, and I'm sure we will, we'll continue uh, to work together and, and, you know, really work on uh, maybe some new projects and just a continuation of what we've already started in, in, in terms of, you know, bringing the disability community and the arts together and, and hopefully really have some new initiatives, new programs, uh, you know, in the community.